the coronavirus will not kill the office, but it will change it, perhaps indefinitely. Post-pandemic offices will be reduced to 30 to 50 percent occupancy, with staggered working hours. With fewer people coming into the office, employers will be free to tweak seating arrangements. Desks will be set two meters apart. This is a formal conference room. Seats will be reset, again two meters apart. Graphics, floor markings, and signs will function as constant reminders to maintain social distancing. High traffic areas will become one way. Contactless offices will be the ultimate goal, with the help of Internet of Things solutions, wave motion entry doors, voice-activated lights, and touchless switches, coffee makers, and toilet flushers. Don't be surprised if you see more copper coating and finishes around the office. Experts have found that the novel coronavirus can live for a few days on metal, wood, and plastic surfaces, but only up to four hours on copper. Air ventilation and filtration system, often overlooked, now will become a necessity. Bringing more outdoor air to the building is crucial. A study found that bringing outdoor ventilation to recommended levels had the same mitigating effect as vaccination coverage of 50 to 60 percent. An air filter installed in a ventilation system blocks the entry of undesirable particles into the confined area. Otherwise, if there is an infection, it will quickly spread. Employers will need to look after their employees' mental health too. Biophilic design has proved to be emotionally healing. It helps boost immunity too. And don't forget that plants are the best natural air purifier. It's time to enjoy your virus-free office.